Hi, Glenn. This is Angelica, and I'm going to show you three things that you can do today to help bring in more customers to your business. You know, we know times are tough right now, and uh, we just really want to help businesses grow. So we're sharing these tips for free to businesses to help them out. So if at the end of this video you find it informational, we'd love for you to reach out and give us the line of feedback. Let us know if, uh, you know, we're providing, we just want to make sure we're providing value to you guys. So, um... It's just going to be three things. We'll get right to it. The first thing is content. You want to have at least 1500 words on your homepage to be optimized with Google. Within these um, 1500 words, you want to have buyer intent keywords. And of course, those are the actual words people are searching for in Google to find your services. So if we look that up, um, we've put in a couple in here and th these are your competitors. Um, definitely these people keep coming up as well, but this is what we call the map pack. And so the biggest way to, um, be optimized for this section in Google's eyes is citations. Um, what is a citation? It's your business name, address, and phone number when it's registered in directories like, uh, yellowpages.com, um, better business bureau, yelp.com is a big one. Um, so when you register your name, address, and phone number there, that uh, makes a citation. So it's part of how Google gives you the authority to be in this section. You want to have at least 200. Most businesses, they only average 20 to 30. And we also help our clients build more of those. The last thing is a backlink. So just to give you an idea, we use an error, a system called Eros. And uh, it just gives you an idea of how your website's performing. So what this is saying is you have 238 keywords throughout your site and 72 websites, you know, domains that have 294 backlinks built out with them. So this is saying 23 people are coming to your site from the organic traffic. So what that is, is this section under the map pack is called the organic section. And the way to rank here is by your buyer intent keywords and backlinks. So typically a business's goal in terms of uh, optimization is to land number one in Google, the, the page, for page number one, right? Which is here. And then also in this section, the map pack. So. There's more than one way to rank, and this organic section is, is one of the key ways when you do have the right content on your site. Um, and then, of course, the backlinks. Backlinks are huge. They're not all created equal. So you can have some that actually do follow back to your site when you click on them. That's what do follow means. There's also no follow, which means it won't give you any search engine power. So ultimately, you want to look like the subject matter expert, you know, like people are even using your site as a reference. It's almost like a popularity contest. Google sees, you know, um, people referencing your site and, you know, clicking on other links to come back. So that's another thing that citations are good for is they can also serve as a backlink. So if you're clicking on a link in Yelp, that comes back to your site, well, that'll also give you more search engine power. So, um, you know, we uh, compared you here with your uh, competitor and they've got 134 people coming to their site. So think about what 100 more people a month coming to your site would do for your business. So like I said, uh, if you want us to help you out to build the most effective plan, uh, we'd certainly love to chat. Um, otherwise, you can do this yourself. You know, that's fine too. But most businesses hire someone to do this because it, it's very time consuming. And you got to make sure you're following the rules of Google. So, um, but like I said, we'd love to help you out. If you found this informational, um, we'd love to chat. Again, my name is Angelica. You can call us back or just reply back. Our number is on the email. Thank you for your time. Bye bye.